हेलो एंड जय हिंद टू ऑल द फ्यूचर ऑफिसर्स टुडे इन अ थर्ड यूट्यूब वीडियो इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ डिफेंस नॉलेज वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट द वेपन्स यूज बाय इन्फेंट्री इन द इंडियन आर्मी सो इन द फर्स्ट कम्स द इंसास विच स्टैंड फॉर इंडियन स्मॉल आर्म सिस्टम इट इज़ द फर्स्ट कैटेगरी एंड अंडर इंसास देर कम्स मैनी टाइप्स ऑफ राइफल्स वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट दैम पर बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड the word caliber you might have heard about this word caliber but you haven't understood it properly yet so just imagine practically you have the circle from the center the part the shortest distance which is there it is the diameter okay so from the center passes the diameter so imagine the barrel from barrel of the gun from which where the bullet is fired so this is a type of circle and the diameter of this barrel is our caliber so if you see the caliber it means the diameter of the barrel of the gun okay so now in the insas indian small arm system we will be studying about the first type of rifle which is the assault rifle assault rifle has caliber 5.66 mm it is weight around 4.5 kg and it is effective range is 400 meters effective range generally means that one is the range and one is the effective range suppose here effective range is 400 meters which means till 4 meters i can hit the target with almost full power but after that also the bullet will go but its power will reduce so that is the effective range so assault rifle has the caliber of 5.66 mm its weight is around 4.515 kg its effective range is 400 meters so this is the rifle which we are seeing it is still used by indian army and generally in our training academies also uh, the assault rifle is used you might have seen it in many of the videos okay so now we will come to the second part or the second type of rifle in the insas category which is which is the lmg which stands for light machine gun light machine gun is also of two types first one has the caliber of 5.56 mm its weight is around 6.23 kg and its effective range is around 700 meters okay and the second one is the second one has the caliber of 7.62 mm its weight is around 13 kg and its effective range is around 910 meters so it is basic understanding as the caliber increases as the weight increases then the rifle would have more power which means its effective range would also increase thus we can see the differences in the both the calibers and the weights as the caliber and the weight increase the range also increased of the rifle so this is the image of the lmg light machine gun so it is generally used by indian army and now we will come to the third part third part or the third rifle here comes is the self loading rifle which also stands for slr slrs has the caliber of 7.62 mm its weight is around 4.4 kg and its effective range is 275 meters okay now before uh, uh, moving forward i just want to clear one difference between the slrs and the assault rifles in the upcoming times you might think what is the difference between slrs and assault rifle so the major difference between an assault rifle and slr is the different firing modes self loading rifle only has one firing mode which is if you press the trigger the bullet will fire then automatically the second bullet will load as you have put the mag as you have put in the magazine in the gun so automatically the second bullet will load but then again you have to press the trigger which means if you have to fire the 10 bullets then there is the uh, you have to press the trigger 10 times it has only one mode but in the assault rifles there are different modes one mode is just if you uh, uh, if you have just uh, pressed the trigger then bullets keep firing one mode is you just push one by one the trigger the one by one bullets fire so assault rifles have different firing modes and slrs have only one firing mode so it is the major difference slrs have the caliber of 7.62 mm it weights around 4.4 kg and its effective range is around 275 
meters okay now i will just read it once i have just explained you this the one key difference between assault rifle and slr is the slrs have only one firing mode the semi automatic mode this means that each time the user pulls the trigger the weapon will fire only one cartridge it will automatically eject the fired cartridge load the next cartridge and prepare the weapon to fire but the user has to let go of the trigger then pull it again to fire the next cartridge this is unlike an assault rifle which has multiple firing modes and allow users to switch between them i have explained you them so this is the image of uh, above black blackish gun it is the slr gun okay so now the fourth gun which we will be studying about in the insas category is the ak47 it is the most commonly used gun and it is the most effective guns in all terrains and requires very less maintenance so ak47 in which ak stands for avatomat kleshenikov it is also a type of assault rifle because it has multiple firing modes it has caliber of 7.62 mm it weighs around 3.47 kg if you see its weight is very less 3.47 kg so it is very portable you can carry it easily anywhere and its effective range is 350 meters which means till 350 meters it can hit the enemy with proper accuracy and can make a great impact so now after insas we will come to the second type which is the mortar 81 mm mortars is used by indian army now you can re relate it clearly that 81 mm stands for the caliber so now if you have if you have if you see the this picture you will see that the barrel from which the fire will happen it is it has become bigger which means the caliber has become bigger because the diameter has become bigger because the diameter is 81 mm in the other guns if you see here the diameter would be small because the caliber is small okay because the firing barrel is small so this is the thing which i am trying to tell okay so now we will come to 81 mm mortar 81 mm mortar is uh, has the weight of 30 kg and its effective range is from 100 meters to around 5675 meters it all depends on the adjustment of the angles if you adjust the angle more then the fire would be at the less distance if your angle is till 45 degrees then the uh, maximum travel would be 5675 meters you might have seen it in different movies also army war movies where they just put this missile type of thing in the barrel and it fires okay so it is used to mortar is used to create the impact on the areas of the enemy which are far away okay so now we will come to the third part which is the 40 mm multi grenade launchers now again you can understand what i am trying to refer caliber now it's the uh, diameter of the barrel has reduced in comparison to the diameter of the mortar and diameter is the caliber which is the 40 mm okay so its weight is around 5.13 kg its range is around 30 to 375 meters whatever you want to fire if you want to fire close or if you want to fire till 375 meters it has the effective range so see this image downstairs you will find big big cartridges being inserted in this uh, grenade launchers this uh, big big uh, cartridges are inserted these are the ammos and they fire uh, at the distance from 30 to 375 meters so it is generally uh used to create impact in the short areas or the nearby areas and if we see the mortars mortars have the range till 5675 meters so mortars are generally used to create the impact at the larger distance area or far away distance areas other than that if you see the difference mortars have the weight of 30 kg but this multi grenade launcher has only the weight of 5 kg 5.13 kg which means the grenade launcher is easily portable which means we can carry it easily anywhere okay so next gentlemen uh, we will come to the rocket launcher rocket launcher generally india uses the rcl mark 2 mark 3 version india is using currently we don't worry we will study about each and every weapon 
their origin everything in the upcoming videos but this are these are the most important weaponries which can be asked in ssbs that's why i've made this video so rocket launchers have the caliber of 84 mm and its weight is around 16 kgs if you see here 500 to 1000 meters it has the effective range these are the most common things you have seen this in many of the movies from the back side the missile type of thing is the cartridges are inserted and it is fired its range is around 500 to 1000 meters it is also portable because its weight is 16 kgs okay so gentlemen now we will come to the last part which is medium machine guns we studied about lmg light machine guns now we will be studying about medium machine guns okay so it has caliber of 7.62 mm the weight is around 24 kgs and the major difference here comes is range its range is around 1800 to 3700 meters now i will just compare it to lmg 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 was of two types 5.56 7.62 the weight increase the caliber increase the range increase as the LMG light machine gun so it has less range and medium machine gun is there so it would be having more range so we can clearly see that the medium machine guns has the range of 1800 to 3700 meters so gentlemen this was all about our today's video on the infantry weapons used by uh, Indian army so in the next video we will study about something new in the defense series but for today it's all over um, my comment box is open for your valuable suggestions thank you